With our Congress and our senators on a five-week summer vacation, it's easy to lose track of some of them. Ah, but we followed Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid out to Las Vegas, where he opened a green energy conference this week. The senator is a big proponent of renewable energy. He touts Nevada as what he calls the Saudi Arabia of renewable energy. In fact, even though critics do point out that Nevada doesn't create enough energy for even a significant fraction of its own energy needs. But nonetheless, this is the Senate Majority Leader, after all. No doubt Nevada is hauling in a lot of our taxpayer money, though. It's received, in fact, $1.3 billion. $1.3 billion. And, you know, that's not bad. I mean, even though he is the... Uh, Senate Majority Leader, and he does do special projects for the president, uh, you know, like check out tax returns and things, that, that money flowed out to Nevada. The, the federal funds have been funneled into geothermal and solar and wind projects since President Obama took office. So what is all that money created? Well, exactly, now get ready for this because you really are going to be shocked because uh, this is a big deal. Two hundred and 88 permanent jobs, 288 of them. The Nevada Journal did a little math for us all and for Senator Reid and pointed out that that's a cost per job of $4.6 million. $4.6 million per job. Now, even by government standards, that is a little expensive. There is a bonus, though. All that green federal money has also led to the quadrupling, let's just call that a 4X, on the cost of power in Nevada. Four times. And Nevada's economy already in trouble. Its unemployment rate stands at 11.6. 11.6% in Nevada. Uh, three, three percent plus higher than the national average, but at a cost of four point six million dollars a job, one thing that's I think definitely out: Nevada can't afford to create any more green jobs. Certainly not in Nevada, and Nevada consumers certainly can't afford to pay for any more of that good old green energy that this administration seems to love, even with our huge federal subsidies for the state of Nevada.